Greetings Vision Link users and welcome to this unified productivity tutorial, Asset View and Graphs. This tutorial will cover what we can see within the asset details for the load and cycle monitoring and also the graphical view of a single asset. To get to the screen, we need to click the Productivity tab. The default view displays a table where all of the load and dump events are displayed as well as other relevant information such as the total cycle duration, cycle load time, load location, geofence and type as well as the loading unit associated with that, the cycle dump time, dump location, the geofence and the dump type. We can configure this entire view by going to the settings where we can hide or show columns, rearrange the order of the columns, and change the column widths. This gives a customized view of the cycle details for a particular asset. We can navigate to the assets dashboard to see a summary table of some of the charts of the asset. From the asset dashboard, we get a summary view of this particular asset where we can see the total cycle count for the week compared to our targets, the total volume, and the total payload. The widgets on the asset dashboard are not configurable and are set in place. However, we can toggle between geofences as well as look at an average for today, current week, or current month. Going back to the Productivity tab for a single asset, I can sort them on a particular column such as Cycle Duration to see the cycle duration from shortest to longest or longest to shortest. By clicking on View Graphs, I get a graphical view of the cycle information for this asset. This gives me a summary of the productivity for this particular asset. The first view here is the cycle count, where we have target versus actuals. Right now, we can see that we are 67% below target for this week. If I click on any particular day, I get a details window that pops up where I can see my target for my cycles to date and the actual cycles achieved to date from a cumulative and also from a daily perspective as well as the net difference between the two. If I click on View List, I can see a list of all the cycles back from the productivity table. Each day will show our cumulative as well as comparison with our actuals to our target as well as a daily value. We can toggle on these on and off by clicking on the radio buttons in the legends. We can also switch to an hourly, a daily, or a weekly type view. If I click on hourly, it will give me an exact breakdown of all the cycles when they occurred. So I can see when I have my most productive hours, when that asset was really working and completing cycles, and also when it was not. Clicking on this also brings up the window that shows us our target compared to our daily target for that asset. To change these targets, click on the Actions bar and hit Show or Edit Target Values. This brings up a Vision Link Administrator where I can go in and set this value. Going back to Unified Productivity, I can further look at more information such as the volume. Volume is going to come from the cycles itself and it's going to be set within the asset configuration where there's a volume for every one of the loads. If the asset is capable, I will get my estimated volume per runtime, my estimated volume per fuel, and my cycles per runtime. This depends on your utilization subscription. I can quickly generate a report of any of these graphs by clicking on Generate Report. This will create a PDF document of my graph. VisionLink Unified Productivity, Asset View and Graphs, 
Thank you very much.